What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Generica, the owner of the Stoners Vault and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a chit chat video and I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about my top 10 ways to increase rolling tray sales. And if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I have my notes um, written down so I can remember everything that I want to uh, discuss. So just, you know, excuse that. Uh, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know I make videos about mompreneurship, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, um, and starting a rolling trade business or smoke shop. If those are the type of videos that you are looking for, please make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell down at the bottom. And all of my information will be down in the description box as well. So let's get started. My top 10 ways to increase oil and trade sales. Number one is going to be pop-up shops. I put pop-up shops as number one because that is the easiest way to get sales. Uh, when you have in-person pop-up shops, people are able to see your product without, you know, second guessing if the product is good or not. They're able to look at things. They're able to get a feel that the business is real and you get to network with other people, especially a pop-up shop is going to be other business owners that you get to network with and market and get your name out there. Uh, you have flyers or uh, business cards, anything, you can pass those things out to people. Even if they don't buy, they will have your information. They can go follow you on Instagram to keep up with your new uh, products that are coming out, et cetera, et cetera. So pop-up shops is always the number one way to increase your sales. Um, I know a lot of people have uh, made pop-up shops a lot more popular this past 2020 because I didn't really hear about pop-up shops as heavy as I have this year past year so get on it if you can look in local places that are doing pop-up shops and don't be afraid because your business is a smoking accessory type of business that people won't accept you at first i was a little skeptical and scared to do pop-up shops because i didn't want people to think like oh this girl in here selling stuff you know weed stuff and smoke stuff but I had to get over that little fear and just say, hey, uh, it's a lot of people in the world that smoke. You know, either you like it or you don't. Keep on walking past my table if you don't like this, period. So make sure that you add pop-up shops to your list of ways to increase your sales. Number two, I'll go with Etsy. Etsy is a great way to make sales, especially for handmade businesses. Etsy is for handmade, handmade only. So being that we make handmade rolling trays, you should make an Etsy shop, even if you do have a website. An Etsy shop is almost like a regular Google. You know how when you go on Google and you type in what you're looking for and all these different things pop up that you need? Um, that's the same thing with Etsy and Amazon. So you type in that you're looking for rolling trays and everyone who sells rolling trays pops up. Um, I'm gonna make another video talking up talking to you guys about how I made over forty thousand dollars on Etsy in literally four months um that's going to be a, a, a later video so please make sure that you stay tuned for that so I can go really in detail about Etsy and how you can make a lot of money on Etsy um but you have to be really careful with how you wear certain things because you can get in trouble you can get dinged you can you lose your shop because you know we're not supposed to promote anything that's you know smoking related um, paraphernalia but I'm going to go into full details of that uh, in another video a little later so but number two is going to be Etsy so that is another great way to increase your sales. Number three is gonna be paid promo. Uh, paid promo is basically when you go on Instagram and there's people that have a large following base that you pay them to promote your products. It's, it's best to go with people who are in your niche or their audience is in your niche or you know really close to what you sell. You don't want to go and you know try to pay for promo from someone who's a, a Bible study teacher like they may have 200,000 followers but their their audience is not going to connect with you because these people are Christian Bible study and stuff like that not 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 saying that Christians don't smoke or nothing I'm just saying like you don't want to go out your way to pay for promo with someone just because they have a big following base in their crowd it has nothing to do with what you sell so you will go more towards people who sell I mean who who smokes weed who uh, like to party young people that are into like the younger you know that the, the smoking crowd pretty much you know you know exactly what i'm trying to get at you know how to find the right people to promote with pretty much search hashtags and see you know who's doing promo um 
Some promo can be as cheap as $20 for timeline and $10 for um, stories. And then you got some people who are really expensive, but those are usually like big time people who got like three, four, five hundred thousand followers. So yeah, they charge, you know, between 200 and a thousand dollars to do promotion. So you have to budget and make sure that you are still in your budget for promotion and that your website is actually ready before you start doing promotion. So prepare yourself for pay promo so you can actually maximize as much as you can in getting more sales. Number four is gonna be TikTok. Everybody on TikTok, and you know how popular TikTok has gotten over the past uh, year because of COVID-19. Everyone has been stuck at home, and TikTok just like blew up. And it has blown up a lot of people. People have gone from literally one follower to a million followers on TikTok, and that is like the best way to grow. I have received so much um, promo, not promo, but more like insights from. Uh, from TikTok. So if you don't have a TikTok account, make you one and post videos, search the hashtags like uh, TikTok stoners and stoners of TikTok, moms of TikTok and stuff like that to look and see what videos are popular and you know, post your products that way uh, through different creative um, TikTok videos. And then you let them know to follow you on Instagram or to go shop with you on your website. Um, so that's another great way to add more sales. Number five is going to be an email list. You should have an email list on your website. Um, it's fairly easy. You can sign up with things like MailChimp. I have MailChimp. So when anyone comes to my website, uh, there is a pop up that pops up for people to um, subscribe to my email list. So uh, if you build your email list, you never know what might happen to your website. Well, not your website, but you never know what might happen to social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, any of those things can go down any second. But when you have your website and your email list, you're still able to promote your products. Uh, it's too many people that depend solely on Instagram to promote their products. And then things happen like you lose your Instagram page. Um, people get hacked all the time. People lose their accounts all the time. And if you already have a big email list, then you're still able to promote to those people. You're even able to send them an email, let them know, hey, I have a new Instagram page. My last page was deleted, hacked or whatever. And I can, you know, and those people can go to your new page. So building an email list is really, really, really important. It's great for promotion. It's great for keeping up with your customers and, you know, uh, to get more sales. And that is always a great way make sure you have an email list on your website. Number six is gonna be Reels and Stories on Instagram. And just like with TikTok, Reels has become really popular and Reels have been bringing a lot of people um, to your page because it's like um, just scrolling down through Reels and people will see your Reels, not just your followers, just people all around the world who are just looking through the Reels. So when you are posting on your Reels, you are gaining uh, impressions and insights uh, to your Instagram page. And that brings more traffic to your page, which could possibly be more followers, which those followers could possibly be customers. And with your stories, when you are posting content on your stories, you keep, you stay at the top of their, um, their, their, their page. So they're always gonna see your products. You're always gonna be in their face. Either they're gonna unfollow you because you're posting too much or they're gonna eventually purchase from you. And if they're unfollowing, if they unfollow you, then that's good, that's cool. Go ahead and unfollow me because you obviously wasn't gonna purchase from me anyways. Um, so just stay posting on your stories, post on your reels. And I know it's, a, it's hard trying to keep up with all these different social medias, but you know, you have to post and get your products out there because there's so many people that are selling products. There's so many people that have a business that you have to gain the attention of, of people and you don't have much time to gain people before they're on to the next thing. Number seven is gonna be Pinterest. A lot of people don't use Pinterest because it is a little bit harder. Um, it's a little harder to understand, but once you get down, once you get the concept of Pinterest down, you can gain a lot of sales. So many people uh, forget about Pinterest and forget to post their products on Pinterest. And people go on Pinterest all the time to get ideas. People go on Pinterest to look for home decor, hairstyles, outfits, and stuff like that. And I've noticed that there are a lot of people who are looking on Pinterest for rolling trays and 
for ideas of rolling trades and stuff like that. So uh, posting your, make yourself a business account on Pinterest and uh, start posting your products on Pinterest and that can obviously gain you more sales as well. I will make another video as well about Pinterest too, about how to set up your business hub and how to um, gain monthly followers and monthly views on your um, on your Pinterest. Eight is going to be marketing. So for number eight, we're going to talk about marketing. Um, there's so many ways to do marketing as one being paid promo. That is like the number one way to do your marketing, but you can do marketing like old school ways, like print out some flyers and start doing, you know, car by car here in Houston, Texas, there's a club called Carol's and it's like the hood spot. So being that we sell rolling trays and have a smoke shop, that's the perfect place to go and put out flyers. And no, everyone's not gonna take your flyers. You are gonna find some flyers that, throw, that are thrown on the ground, but there are people that are gonna take your flyers and are gonna go show up and show to your website and stuff like that. So you can do, you know, flyers on cars. You can go to different networking events, look in your local uh, newspaper, magazine, or Instagram pages that have like local things that's going on in your area to find out when they're gonna be local networking events and marketing events and stuff like that. You can go to those different places and market your business and use social media to market your business by continuously posting and doing paid promotion. Um, another way to do some great marketing is by wearing your brand on your shirts. Uh, go get some t-shirts get or go get you some t-shirts made with your business name your Instagram and your you know your Facebook and all that stuff and your website on your shirts and start wearing that stuff you are your brand and you are a walking billboard so when you are wearing your brand and you look good people want to go see what you sell and they want to see if they want their product maybe they are smokers or maybe they're not maybe they have a family or friend that does smoke and they'll end up buying from you just because of the way you look uh, another thing that I did on my car, I haven't done on my truck, but on my car, I put my website on the back of my window and I put what I made, custom rolling trays and smoke accessories. I put my Instagram and my Facebook information. So whenever I was sitting in traffic or driving on the freeway, the person behind me was able to see my, my information and people are nosy. So they see your Instagram page, they gonna go look, just see what it is. So having your, your stuff on the back of your car, on your clothes, wherever, that will gain you traction. No, everybody's not gonna look, but you are gonna get one person that's gonna look. So every outlet that you could take to get your business promoted, take it. That's the best way to market, period. That is the best way. Number nine is gonna be Clubhouse. And Clubhouse is new. Everybody's just not getting on the rave, the crave of uh, Clubhouse. Um, that's another great way to get your business out there because there's so many different um, rooms that are in clubhouse that people are doing uh promotions people are talking about business startup how to start a youtube channel how to gain, gain more sales in 2021 etc etc and different people are going to the stage and they're able to talk about their business and what they need help with and while they're talking about that those some people that are in their room are going to go click on your page to see your instagram or your website and then they'll scroll through and they'll either audit or they'll shop with you uh, a, per, a perfect example is supercent did a group where she, she was talking about 2021 increasing in sales, I believe. Her and uh, The Real BB Judy. And there was one lady that went to the stage and she talked about her business and 3,000 people that were in that group, they went to her website. She was not ready. So because of her not being ready, she didn't get all the sales that she could have gotten. But that's a prime example of being able to get more sales is to have your website ready. And when you get on that stage to talk or promote your business and say your business name, um, you're able to get, get more sales because people are, people are looking to purchase from people. People are looking to, um, to gain more um, knowledge about their business and they're they're gonna go to your page, they're gonna go to your website and they're gonna look around and, and if your things are looking a please, pleasingly ecstatic, then they're gonna purchase from you. So make sure that you, if you can get in Clubhouse, because Clubhouse isn't like an app like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter where you can just download and start uploading. You have to be invited into, Club, into Clubhouse, but there are multiple groups I know on Facebook that are giving out Clubhouse invites. Um, post on your stories on your page. Uh, if anyone has any Clubhouse invites, uh, please let me know. Um, I want to get in Clubhouse and stuff like that because it is a great way to market uh, on Clubhouse and it's a great way to get more sales. 
And last but not least, number 10 is going to be YouTube. YouTube is another great way to get more sales because there are so many people on YouTube and there are so many people that are looking on YouTube uh, for products. And some people actually will go to your YouTube if you have an Instagram page and you have a business, but some people are kind of skeptical if you are a real business or not. If you have an Instagram page showing your daily routine, showing you packing orders, preparing orders, etc., etc., people can see that you are a real person and that you have a real business and you are processing orders and uh that gives people a little bit of um peace of mind to know that when they do purchase from you that they are going to get a product and that you are working and that you are a real person and, and, and that you are not a scammer because there are so many people that are scamming that are there are people that just steal images i've had my my images stolen multiple times with my logo on them and they have been put on other people's websites. They have been put on people's pages. And I'm like, y'all have no shame in y'all game. Y'all literally took my picture with my logo and still used it. And I've got people, countless of people that have inboxed me saying, hey, Generic, I saw your products on someone else's page, on someone else's website, I saw your logo. And I've had to inbox these people and tell them, hey, stop using my, my pictures, make your own product and use your own pictures. Because if you purchase, if someone purchases purchase from that person and it's not what they like, they're going to come to me because they see my logo and they're going to think that they purchased from me and they didn't. So having a YouTube channel is another great way to, to make your, your customers or your potential customers feel a little bit more safe to shop with you. And people that are just on YouTube that are just looking at videos may see something that, that they like that you are posting and they will purchase from you. So, Pretty much those are my top 10 ways to get more sales, to increase your sales um, for your rolling trade business. Um, so if any of these things you feel like that will help you, please make sure that you write them down and incorporate and, and implement them into your business. Um, because in 2021, we're trying to get every sale possible. Um, 2020 has shown us that nothing is safe and secure. So having multiple streams of income is so important because uh, you never know what might happen like COVID. So make sure that you are doing everything you can to get more sales, to increase your sales. And it is hard to, to accommodate everything into your schedule, but you have to try your best to uh, post more, to market, promo, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have any suggestions for me that would be another great way to increase sales, please make sure that you leave them in the comments below. I am always open and love to learn new ways to make more sales in my business. And somebody else that may be watching this video may look in the comments and see something else that I did not talk about and they may be able to incorporate that into their business as well. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you like these type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like this video so other people can see it as well and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video because I have so many more videos that are coming that are going to be helpful to you guys in your business and your success in 2021. Uh, thank you again for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.